شگر مانے تاگن دالے شگر حالا تاگر کوچھے شعبو کے دار میلے This is Josh Friedman at what is now the 13th consecutive day of protests here in Romania. There are, I would guess, tens of thousands of people. Tear gas. Коли ми разом, владі нема що протиставити об'єднане опозиції. Mr. Sakashvili, could I get a very quick interview? Yeah, very quick. Thank you. Uh, could you quickly describe the corruption that led to Well, you cannot quickly describe it, but actually Ukraine is uh, run by several oligarchic corrupt clans, and in terms, of, in terms of level of corruption, the country is one of the worst performers in the world. Speaking with the founder and president of the Free Republic of Liberland, this is Vit Yedlichka. How are you doing, Mr. President? I'm great, I'm great. I've been on short vacation, but more on a diplomatic mission uh, for the last three weeks, visiting a number of countries. This is Josh Friedman in Sunny Beach, Bulgaria, where I'm joined by the one and only Dinko Volov. Dinko, you have some very impressive equipment, like you have a helicopter with weapons and a tank and stuff. Yes, I want, I buy it. Some people want to buy drunks, buy it. Some people want to buy alcohol, buy it. Some people want to buy other stuff, buy it. I want my, I like, I know drunks, no, no smoking, nothing. I like tanks, I like uh, guns, I, I like everything. It is day nine of my nine day trip around Central Europe. I am in Switzerland. Thus far on my trip, I have been in Slovakia, Austria, and Switzerland, three countries. Yet today, the final day of my trip, I expect to be in five countries. Los Vaduz, Vaduz Castle. This is where the prince of the Principality of Liechtenstein lives in France, which is my fifth and final country of the day. Saying goodbye to Octomer Island, you're getting a look at Turkey's Lake Vaughan. Welcome to Ahmet. I am Ari. Rosebush. Evarbush. Evarbush. Merhaba. Navemen Arine. Ejwalate Ahmedime. Tubher Hatijash. But what about in English? I am Ari. Yes. Welcome to Ahmet Josh. And Ahmed is how you call the Arbucker? Yes. Yes. Ah, cultural learnings for the glorious nation of America. Very nice. Very nice. Not. Not. Oh, Nat. <laughs> okay, I'm not the best Borat, but you nailed. Well, you nailed that one. Well, yeah. my sister is number four. <laughs> this vantage point, it's it's almost like these bureaucrats are protecting. Well, in case of any <laughs> uprising, there's going to be a thousand people coming out of each entrance and just build just a human wall that will never, uh, that will guarantee that he'll stay in power forever. I am lucky enough to be taking a tour of Nisebr, the UNESCO World Heritage Site Old Town. It's been a fun weekend. We met Dinko Ot Yambo. 
That's how you say it? Yes. I mean, that's how he's known in Bulgaria. Dinko at Yambo. Yeah, Dinko from Yambo. We met him, we hung out with him, we toured in the Seber. Yep. Dined in sunny beach this evening along the coast. myself up in the mountains in Bulgaria above one of the seven Rila lakes. <laughs> I just collected my third set of bed bug bites this year. You might be able to see some of them on me. They're in a rather discreet location this time. You see that red mark? Yeah, there's some redness. Now, there are a lot of things I could complain about. I have bed bug bites for the fourth time this year. I've got my fourth batch of bed bug bites of 2017. And yesterday, my left hand resembled a tomato. It puffed up like a tomato and <laughs> was swollen and partially numb and bright red and absolutely disgusting and I'm covered in bed bug bites as well but you know what so be it I am so grateful to be taking in not only the Sun but the wild atmosphere here in the main square the the Place uh, Jema El Fana as it's called here in Marrakesh, this is one of the wackiest, quirkiest, yet maybe warmest and most interesting town squares I've ever seen. Yeah! Thank you! Man. Oh. So long and farewell from the United States of America. Hello from outside the Kyrgyz White House in Bishkek. My name is Josh Friedman and I am coming to you on election day here in Kyrgyzstan. For the first time in both Kyrgyzstan and in Central Asia that there will be a peaceful transfer of power from one popularly elected president to the next. Welcome to Pristina. I am Josh Friedman coming to you on election day in Kosovo. Could a man who was recently arrested on a war crimes warrant become Kosovo's next prime minister? Could a party that has been setting off tear gas in the parliament parlay violent protests into a victory at the ballot box. Those are a couple questions and storylines to ponder. From Ankara's Kuzlai Square, I'm in the heart of the capital of Turkey, where the celebration has died down and the results are official. Turkish voters, by a fairly slim margin, delivered President Recep Tayyip Erdogan the executive presidency that he has long desired. Recep Tayyip Erdogan very good.